Parts of the United Kingdom are sinking, or to be more accurate, bound to be claimed by the sea as early as 2050. And no, it is not a mere scare tactic to get people more serious about tackling climate change and global warming. The fact that the UK is an island means that there is very little the government can do in terms of preventative mega-projects, such as seawalls, to tackle tidal flooding. However, for inland areas such as Merseyside Town, villages, and even the docks and other parts of Liverpool, there are solutions that are quite amazing because they come with a side benefit of producing green electricity. The plan is simple. They know they cannot do much for coastal areas such as Sefton and North and West Wirral. However, a lot can be done for Witness, Warrington, and other inland Merseyside towns and villages. They plan to build the world's largest tidal power project, which would include a colossal barrage across the River Mercy that would prevent future inland flooding due to rising sea and floods during high tides. How serious is the emergency that is driving the Liverpool authorities to undertake such a massive project that they can't even afford? What is the River Mercy Tidal Power Project that is designed to solve this emergency? And is the project feasible and the funds will be raised, or will the central government ignore the pleas? It is quite tragic that many Merseyside towns and villages are set to vanish by 2050. Accurate research and studies show that places such as Sefton, Wirral, and Warrington could be entirely submerged while Liverpool's historical docklands, golf courses, and even planned football stadiums could also become obsolete due to extreme tidal flooding. One of the main reasons for this predicted catastrophe has to do with the tide patterns in the areas that can reach as high as 10 meters. The area is notorious for its four daily tides. This means even a few centimeter rise in sea levels in the Irish Sea can cause dramatic sudden flooding in low areas in Merseyside and as far inland as the Mercy River goes. This approaching and possibly unavoidable catastrophe led the Liverpool authorities to resurrect a 100-year-old plan for a mega-project that involves a barrage across River Mercy. However, since times have changed, the mega-project is no longer just about controlling the high tides, but is about producing enough green electricity to power as many as 1 million homes. The new plans to build a huge barrage across the River Mercy received a huge boost in 2022 following an agreement between Liverpool City Region and South Korea's state water company, K-Water, to cooperate in developing the world's largest tidal power project on the River Mercy. K-Water already owns and operates the Siwa Lake Tidal Range Power Scheme, which is currently the world's largest. Liverpool has been lobbying the central government for funds for the project. Once these funds, or about three billion pounds, are secure, the construction of a 1.2 gigawatt tidal power project would begin within as little as six months. Several organizations and educational institutes have formulated designs for the project and conducted related surveys and assessments that include either a barrage or a lagoon tidal power plant, and several locations have been deemed suitable. But the fact remains that the project is still only on paper, and a final design will be selected once funds are secured. Let's move to discussing tidal power. You are probably wondering what tidal power is, how it works, and whether it is as good as or better than wind and solar power. 1,000 years ago, Europeans used tidal energy to operate grain mills. The technology was quite simple. Incoming tidewater was retained in storage ponds, and the outgoing tidal movement was used to turn water wheels to mill grain. In the 19th century, it was discovered that this process of using falling water and spinning turbines can be used to create electricity. Tidal energy is simply a form of power produced by the natural rise and fall of tides caused by the gravitational interaction between planet Earth, the Sun, and the Moon, which makes it 100% green and infinite. Several factors make the River Mercy an ideal place for a tidal power barrage. For example, its tidal range, which is the difference in water level between high and low tide, 
can be 10 meters or more at spring tides, while the narrow channel at its entrance, known as the narrows, means the barrage could be shorter and thus cheaper to construct. Additionally, it is within proximity to a large urban area with lots of electricity demand. Hence, it can be feasible and profitable despite the predicted high construction costs. Experts say that such a facility can produce up to 1.5 terawatt hours of electricity each year, which is enough to supply electricity to all the homes in the city of Liverpool and the surrounding area. The choice of a tidal barrage is ideal for the location, hence it will also act as a seawall during tidal floods and also mitigate the negative effects of rising sea levels. The planned barrage would act like a dam that is built across the rivers. Turbines inside the barrage enable the basin to fill during incoming tides and release through the system during outgoing tides, generating electricity in both directions. It operates almost exactly like a river dam in capturing the power in the surrounding water. The technology is already tried and has evolved quite a bit in the past few years. The second proposal for the River Mercy Tidal Power Project is a tidal lagoon. Tidal lagoons are like barrages in using man-made retaining walls to partially contain a large volume of incoming tidal water with embedded turbines to capture its energy. However, it is unlikely that the lagoon concept would be adapted since it is sort of unproven on a large scale, with no current examples in operation even though a few are under development in China and North Korea. Mind you that eight lagoon tidal power projects are currently proposed on the west coast of the UK. However, concerns regarding potential environmental impact and cost are still obstacles. Another factor is the lack of interest by private corporations which do not see profits in such power projects. We do have to say here that since such schemes are designed to also protect large swaths of land from tidal flooding and potential catastrophes as sea levels rise, the financial burden falls on the central government. Nevertheless, it is widely expected that both governments and private corporations will increase spending in this field as ocean industries grow. Such industries include aquaculture, ocean mineral mining, and oceanographic research. These rising industries represent what is called the blue economy, which is defined as the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, improved livelihoods, and jobs while preserving the health of ocean ecosystems. Since the West UK coast experiences four tides a day that extends over 24 hours and 50 minutes and is predictable and as consistent as gravity itself, the tidal barrages or lagoons would produce electricity around the hour as the water flow in both directions is utilized. This is called a tidal power two-way generation design. The two-way generation uses turbines to generate power during both flood and ebb tide. All the water flows through the turbines and the water is not held back but allowed to flow freely and constantly turn the turbines. A tidal energy generator using tidal lagoons would also operate as a barrage. However, unlike barrages, tidal lagoons can also be constructed along the natural coastline. A tidal lagoon power plant could also generate continuous power. The turbines work as the lagoon is filling and emptying. The advantages of tidal power are many. For example, water is denser than air, which makes tidal energy more powerful than wind energy, producing much more power. Tidal power is also more predictable and consistent than wind or solar energy, both of which are intermittent and less predictable. However, cost and some technical complexities remain an issue. Do you think that Liverpool will succeed in raising the funds, overcoming the obstacles including technical ones, and building the River Mercy Tidal Power Barrage? Let us know in the comments section, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.